When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What up, YouTube? All right, so today, as the title has described, we are talking about pretty much how much um, I make as a YouTuber, as an influencer, all together. I know a lot of people are... I get comments, these comments that are just like, Teron, you're not making anything for YouTube. It's time for you to get a real job or something like that. And it's just funny to me how people think that I am living off of my YouTube money. Now, when I first started YouTube, yes, I was doing a lot better. I was making a lot more. You know, let's compare. You know, I was making, you know, from, you know, five, six thousand a month from YouTube alone. Now, now, as hard as, as it is to say, you know, I mean, it's a lot of money. Now, I'll probably make a grand to two from YouTube, but at the same time, YouTube has not been my priority now. Um, I was making a lot, I was making a lot of money, especially when I was doing all the whole football thing and everybody was just going through my website, um, Brian buying hella programs and um, my YouTube videos were a little bit more popping. And um, am I trying to get back to that? Yes, I'm trying to get back to that and beyond. Um, I just don't know where I am mentally about YouTube. I just feel like I'm just, that's why I keep doing like these, you know, I tried because I'm just losing ideas. Um, it's all the same shit. There's only so much you can do with fitness. And to me, it's just all the same shit. Like everything is just being remade and recycled on YouTube. Um, especially at fitness, like how, how many times am I going to bench 500 pounds? How many times am I going to try to, you know, deadlift 800? It's just like repetitive stuff that I'm honestly just getting tired of, you know, doing. Like I want to do more than just try to lift heavy weight and, and stuff like that. Um, that's why I've, I've actually been enjoying our couple channel, the Powers Couple channel, link in the description. Um, my focus is honestly going to be a lot towards that because um, I enjoy doing content like that that's not so much revolving around fitness. Now, let's get back to the finances. So, let's see. Let's start with bills. All right. So, for bills itself, let's say um, the house, my home. My home is forty-two fifty a month, right? Electricity bills. Um, the electricity bills every two months, and I like the house cold. Sixty-eight degrees. Sixty-eight degrees now. Uh, our like, like our electricity bill comes out to about eight hundred dollars. Um, every two months so about like four between four or five hundred a month um, so there's that so now we're in the five thousand plus range of um, bills um, my car um, so when I got my car at first it was a gray infinity uh, sport and I wanted a little bit more horsepower so I actually turned that car in three months later and got a new car and uh, infinity q50 red sport uh, white and um, now for my, just for my car alone, um, it is a thousand, it's about a thousand, eleven hundred, it's about a thousand forty two a month um, for my car bill. So now we are at the six, seven thousand um, a month range for, uh, for bills. And um, cell phone, I have two cell phones, so I pay about two hundred a month for both cell phones and an iPad, so about actually like two fifty a month. Uh, for the two cell phones and the iPad um, and Apple Watch. Um, what else? And, you know, just a whole bunch of other stuff, like bill stuff, that, that'll probably add up to about a thousand. So, in all, I need to bring in about minimum eight thousand a month just for like bills and to like, you know, live pretty much. So about eight thousand a month is a kind of like a starting point of where where uh, it's kind of like a starting point of pretty much like what I have to make each month and um, how I make money is it's yeah I pay, I get a little paycheck from YouTube I get a little paycheck from Twitch I do Twitch all the time and I get paid like maybe two to three hundred dollars a month you know it's nothing you know I, it's nothing I just love the game I love to talk to people it is what it is I don't get donations really much ever I get some bits some cheers that's a little bit of money, some uh, subscriptions. Uh, I only have like 40, I used to have 100 plus subscribers on Twitch, now I only have like 40, 50, and I think it's like 250 uh, per subscriber that you get paid from on, on Twitch. So there's that money. Um, and then there's my programs. Now I could say, again, I used to make 
a few thousand dollars a month for my programs. I, for some reason, I just stopped promoting my programs. I don't know why. Um, they're, they're, they're good programs. They're really good programs. I just not, I need to be more like Larry. I think like Larry, Larry does good with just promoting his shit all the time. I don't do that because I feel like people are going to uh, say, oh, I promote too much. I promote too much in Toronto. I got income for this and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna unfollow and I need to stop worrying about that because my real one's gonna be there and understand I gotta make my bread. So that's something that's gonna change. You know, when I promote things, that's how I get paid, you know, from Alpha Clothing. Um, I just signed a contract with Reebok. And I was with Reebok the, two or three years ago. So I'm trying to uh, I signed a shoe deal endorsement with Reebok. Now, Reebok is not, they're actually not my um, highest paying um, endorsement. My protein is my highest paying endorsement. I get paid um, a certain amount for commission um, on top of my monthly um, payment stipend from them uh, I'm not gonna say you know precisely how much but it's more than for Reebok and for my protein it is more than what my rent is so that alone it'll kind of give you an idea of how much you know I'm making per month um, but for my programs I make mm, about half of half, uh, actually no I'll take that back right now my programs are probably about 25% I make about 25% of what I make from, you know, the um, my, my protein or Reebok. Um, my protein is not much more than um, Reebok, but the fact that I get commission, which I haven't got my first commission check yet from them, um, it, it comes out to be, it actually does come out to be a lot more. Um, so there is that. So put your numbers together, kind of think about where we're at right now. Have I made a million dollars yet? No. I'm not there, but I plan on being there next year. Me and Keisha together plan on being there next year. We are starting a um, online training uh, thing together. You know, men, she, I mean, I do men and stuff, or anybody who wants to train like an athlete or get big, and she's doing woman stuff. And uh, we're doing that together, along with growing our uh, Power Couples channel. And um, we plan to do very well from that. Um, apparently, you know, from the company that that reached out to us to do it. Somebody has, they have one client um, of theirs that has like 5,000 followers and they're, they're making like 30, you know, 30K a month. So we um, definitely have a, a good high intention on surpassing that uh, for sure. Um, but once again, going back into um, other ways I get paid, um, I do brand deals. Now for me to do a brand deal, Let's say I get a one-off promotion from a company. Um, we are starting that that post for like one post. For one post on my Instagram or YouTube, I charge three thousand dollars. That's for you know shout out to whatever one post on Instagram, three thousand dollars stories, extra stuff. So that's just the starting point. Now usually I end up breaking deals because I usually want to make five thousand dollars per. Um, per brand deal so I say hey let's do a Instagram post I'll do a YouTube mention and I'll do some stories I'll do a whole package deal for five grand um, and that's a, a lot of companies actually like that idea you know they pay a little bit more and uh, they get more and um, that's pretty much what um, how I do my business now and that's why it's for you know important for whenever I do a Hey, click the link in the bio even if you don't buy anything just click the link in the bio search around whatever it just allows me allows the people that I'm promoting to know that I'm sending traffic to their website whether you buy something or not that's on you but the promote the point is to get traffic to the website for the company that I'm promoting so it does help me out um, even if you're not interested that you still you know check it out or use the code that I give um, when I'm doing promotions with the company if you are interested um, so that's pretty much where the promotion is. It's, I mean, my life's pretty, you know, simple. Um, I do, I do cosplay stuff too. I have this cosplay brand deal that I'm doing. Um, that, you know, that alone is five grand, and that's just for posts and stuff. And um, then I gotta do like a live, live feed interview type thing. There's just a lot of things. I, I do a lot of work from this. Uh, I get a lot of brand deals from this app called uh, Open Sponsorship and um, Aspire. Um, I'll put it in the bio, you know, if you have a following big enough, uh, maybe they'll accept you to do brand work with them also. Uh, I say like around 10K, um, but building a followership is is money. You know what I'm saying? You got 10, you got 10K followers and you got good engagement. Yo, a brand's gonna wanna, you know, 
hey, you can get five hundred dollars here, a thousand dollars, you know, there just for a post. It's you know, it's possible, especially now. I feel like it's a lot easier for people to get paid more now than it was back when I first started because Alpha Clothing. I started with Alpha Clothing five years ago with five hundred dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? And I've been loyal to Alpha Clothing for those whole five years. I've been offered, you know, more from other brands, um, but I felt like, you know, Alpha was there for me when I was going through rough times when I first started YouTube, like rough times, barely making rent, you know, asking for an advance to make rent next month, trying to, you know, just trying to make it buy. And Alpha was there and they helped me out. So I felt like it was, you know, I, I, I believe in the company to take off um, a lot more, you know, and it has, it's gotten better and better. And I want to be there as one of those who just been a part of the company since day one and helped it grow. Um, just like they, you know, helped me grow and helped me out from the beginning. So, um, I'm always going to be with alpha and I pray, you know, nothing bad between us ever happens or something like that. But, um, alpha's always been a 100 and real with me. Um, so, um, there's that with alpha promotion. Um, I was with G fuel for three years, um, canceled that just, I don't want to talk about that, <laughs> but it's, it's all good with me and G Fuel, but I just, you know, it was just some stuff that it is what it is. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, my protein right now, um, just signed our Reebok endorsement again. Hopefully, we could actually keep this um, as a yearly thing, I sign a contract every year. Uh, I know they got, the reason why I got dropped from Reebok is because of new management, and so they didn't know what they were doing. The guy that actually brought me on G Fuel, I mean, uh, on Reebok, went somewhere else and then um one of my other good people with Reebok um he brought me back on so hopefully that that's something that will be continuing on um for for Reebok because I you know I need their Reebok check I like Reebok shoes they cool boom you know what I'm saying but in all estimate below what you think my yearly is I, I would like to see how much people think I really like make because I think if you Google my name, I think uh, you it only shows that I make like 30k, uh, 30k a year from Google just from uh, YouTube. You know, from YouTube I make around like 30k a year because uh, I might have a good video that just takes off with ads and stuff, and I pull off like a thousand dollars from that video. You never know. I think the rock video, I think I pulled like that like a thousand dollars from that. Uh, so you just never know with the videos. There's older videos of mine that just end up picking up out of nowhere and You know, I start, you know, bringing in money from that and then bringing in program sales from that just randomly out of nowhere and uh, They have some online clients that I get paid from um, Online training is, you know, 1200 a month. I mean, my bad. I'm tripping. That's actual training in-person training um, two sessions a week um, online training is uh it was 300 a month uh but that's for like i literally customized the whole month i was only taking on 10 clients and it was 300 a month and i was like nah this ain't even worth it so i kind of stopped that to be honest uh just because it was just way too much just a whole month's custom program by myself like i have to put together a team which is what me and keisha are doing putting together a team to uh really jot down on the online trade it was good my clients were getting results um, but it was just too much stress on me trying to do online clients, in-person clients, and social media. Social media in itself, people really think that this job is just easy. Like, I have no security. So, so social media is gone. It's gone. I'm broke. I have nothing else. You know what I'm saying? So, it's and I have to, I only make as much as I work for. You know what I'm saying? I could easily sit home, not do anything, not make content, and I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not building any any um anything for myself and i could just end up just going broke so that's why i have to keep going with the youtube post keep going with instagram posts keep, you know trying to trying to find the next trend you know trying to jump into tiktok and and build my twitter which is twitter is actually really huge in the gaming industry so trying to build that and it's you know, there's a lot of things that just go into play on becoming like a social media influencer and making your money um so there is that's pretty much a gist of everything um that i could tell you guys so far um uh, you know and i mean i do buy things my camera camera was all, all the, the rig on the camera on this rig right now the stand everything probably cost from three to four thousand right now probably more including the um the lens the lens itself i think it was like 1600 it's a g master 24 millimeter 1.4 on a sony's a7r3 um my pc about four thousand four to five thousand dollars 
you know got three monitors two 4k 60 frame monitors one 144 hertz 60 frame monitors from acer um you know i buy a lot of little i buy a lot of little things that just cost a lot like you know this mic is almost 200 dollars. i got my tv and stuff in the background got one two three uh 4k tvs in the house i uh, got an arcade machine you know what i'm saying so i have the ability to just kind of you know buy whatever um i do save do put money aside um he just definitely helped with keeping me from buying just random i still buy random shit but she's helped a lot with keeping me from like just splurging on money and stuff um and that's another thing when you're when you're an influencer and stuff and you get monthly stipends and all that you know it's coming back then you have a year's contract so you know the money's coming back the next month and that's a hard thing because it's like i can literally blow through all this wait for the next month and then it's just refresh you know and i've gotten better with not doing that and building you know on what's already coming in so that is pretty much the video um if you got any questions in the chat let me know i'll try to go like live on twitch on um, one of these days uh follow my twitch at twitch.tv slash teron underscore beckham and um yeah that's pretty much it so hope you guys enjoyed check out other videos on the channel and um yeah peace out when I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.